the last of the three frog suborders, the Neobatrachia, evolved during the Cretaceous period. Most of the families in the suborder, however, owe their origin to the aftermath of the end Cretaceous extinction. The extinction epoch which uh, ended the Mesozoic era apparently uh, did so much devastation that in its aftermath a plethora of new species evolved. This would include the family Hylidae, the tree frogs, which include the gray tree frog and spring peeper of the eastern United States, with its more than 900 species and worldwide distribution. It would also include the family Ranidae, the true frogs, which include bullfrogs, green frogs, wood frogs, and others, which compose more than 600 species and have a worldwide distribution and the family of toads Bufonidae, which includes 500 species and has a worldwide distribution. The family Leptodactylidae is primarily known from Latin America, although a couple of species are known from the United States. Fossils are known since the Paleocene. And once again, this is evidence of the great biodiversity that exists near the equator. So, for example, the almost 30 species of the family known from the country of Paraguay are roughly a third of the total number of species of frogs known from the United States. This species of large frog is known only from two islands between uh, Puerto Rico and South America and is in critical danger of extinction due to the threats of the spread of the fungus causing chytridiomycosis and then even human predation for food. The family Serratophryidae includes the Cretaceous fossil Beelzebufo, which as a nine inch frog from Madagascar is the largest frog known in the fossil record and 12 modern species found only in South America today. Almost 600 species of the family Microhylidae, largely comprised of smaller frogs, are known throughout the world, and their earliest fossils date to the Paleocene. Some are in critical danger of extinction, like this frog known only in Madagascar, threatened by habitat loss.